25 year old male with refractory iliotibial band syndrome, primarily with biking. Uh, he's tried physical therapy and stretching, hasn't really helped him a lot. So we're going to go ahead and do an ultrasound guided cortisone injection. We're just going to give about a half a cc of methylprednisolone with one cc of normal saline, a little bit uh, lower dose of the cortisone. Here's our first clip, which is going a little posterior, now anterior. You can see that iliotibial band just kind of gliding over the lateral epicondyle. Here we are running over the lateral epicondyle. You can see the iliotibial band, essentially how it just runs right on top of the lateral epicondyle. Looking at the biceps femoris muscle tendon. Here we are on some of the distal hamstring musculature, which can abbreviate the biceps femoris long hand musculature and the biceps femoris short hand musculature underneath that. Let's go into the fibula, as you can see right there. Here you can appreciate the biceps femoris tendon, which has a dual insertion on both the fibula head as well as the tibia. Here we are biceps femoris muscle, 1658, going to the fibula. We're going to go anterior. And again, here you can appreciate how that distal biceps femoris tendon has a dual insertion and bifurcates. Here we're looking at the joint line. You see the iliotibial band, how it runs over that as it attaches on Gertie's tubercle on the tibia. Also, you can appreciate the popliteus tendon as well. Here's our joint, nice looking joint. I'm going to clip them in the nose. Here we are starting the procedure. We're trying to get the needle just under the iliotibial band between that and the lateral epicondyle, and that's where we plan to inject the cortisone. Just trying to get right above the bone. Clip. You can see how that cortisone is spreading nicely underneath the iliotibial band. Again, here you can see they're just finishing up the injection, and we can see that iliotibial band moving upward from the pressure of the injection.